Hey guys, Nico again here, and in this video we're going to do another post-processing technique with a new product that I found called Fine Finish. Let's get to it. Hey guys, welcome back. And so in this video, um, we're going to talk about Fine Finish. Um, and rapid fill. We're gonna go ahead and do both of these these products. I saw this uh, on Evil Ted's Instagram. Um, if you guys want to know more about Evil Ted, he's the he's like the godfather of crafting stuff, right? If you did any foam builds, you know Ted. Anyway, so he posted these two products and said, "Hey, we're gonna try this out. It's you know, we're gonna check it out." And I asked him if it works on 3D prints. He said, "No." Challenge accepted. So, um, let's go ahead and test these out. I tested them out. We're gonna go through the process. You guys can see my findings, but I think they're pretty good. All right, so what I've done is I've applied this fine finish right here twice. Um, and then I took a 120 grit sandpaper and I, um, I sanded it and then I finished it off with a 400 grit sandpaper and sanded it. Um, it's pretty smooth, man. And so um, we're gonna see now, um, I didn't do the fingers as you guys very well saw. Um, all this is is a um, Batman Ninja glove piece. So now we're gonna go outside and prime it and then that's when we're gonna see all the imperfections and whatnot. As you guys can see, you can still see some lines right there. It's probably because I didn't sand it well enough. But this part I did sand well. I got lazy on this part. But on this part I did sand pretty well and you can it's a good product, man. It bonds well with the print. It sticks on there. Don't worry about that. That stringing just leave that alone. But yeah, man, if you if you put in a little bit extra sand work, like I rushed through this just so I can get the video out. But this is a good product, man. Um, now let's check it for PLA. All right, so for PLA, I tested it on this Omega Fortnite helmet <laughs> that I printed out. Um, it's not supposed to be red, it's supposed to be black, but whatever. Anyway, so this is the side that I tested it on. I tested it on multiple surfaces. Um, I tested it on this side. I did two coats of the um, fine finish, just like I did the Batman glove. And man, look at that. That's pretty dang good. And so I did the same thing. I just put two coats of that on here, sanded it very just quickly with the 120, finished it with the 400, and then primed, and then the, the cherry red gloss from my Iron Man. And then, man, it looks, that's pretty freaking good. And so, um, Ted, it works on 3D prints. Yay! <laughs> Um, and that's it for this video, you guys. It works. It's a fantastic project, uh, product. You guys can grab the, um, the link for this is down below if you guys want it. Um, it's not an affiliate link. I don't make any money from it. It's just a great product. I wanted to get to you guys um, so you guys can start using it. Um, a little goes a long way, and it smooths. It, it, smooth, it, it, it sands far better than XTC 3D or the fiberglass resin. Um, I am going to start using this exclusively now to finish all my prints because this works on flexible filament as well as PLA. So I'm, I'm on this now, you guys. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching. I appreciate it. If you guys like this video, please give me a thumbs up down below and make sure you guys subscribe and make sure you follow us on our Facebook group at 3D Printed Armor and Weapon Props. And if you guys like figures, follow us at 3D Printed Figures. If you guys that like stuff like this, Iron Man video should be somewhere in my channel um and that's it thank you guys for watching i appreciate it uh link to the shop is down below if you guys want some files and if you guys want you can join my patreon that's the link to all the good stuff some like ex exclusive stuff um and that's how you get files on the cheap all right i'll catch you guys later peace the fight scene between these two guys oh gonna be awesome Catch you guys later. Peace.